Hello guys, so today's going to be another insulator collection video, but it's going to be of a different sort. Um, I know a lot of insulator collectors hate them, you know, they have a love-hate relationship with them. Um, I'm one of the people that really likes them. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you my polymer insulators. So the first ones I have to show you are these two 230kV NGK lock suspensions. These are different than any other 230kV suspensions I have. Um, they have the Y clevis on the top, but on the bottom, instead of the usual pin, they have a uh, they have an O on them. But uh, these actually came off the center phase of a uh, um, 230kVH structure. So they kind of had them at a yoke plate in like a V shape. Um, I'm really happy to get these. And uh, the next insulators I'm going to show you are the ones that were on the side phase, each um, side of the H structure. So they're actually made by NGK also. They're a bit different. They, uh, instead of having a big shed, little shed, it's just regular sheds. They're a bit shorter, too. Um, they have the regular ball on the end, the pin. And, uh, these actually came off the same exact structure as the other two I just showed you did. Um, then I have... These line posts, I got a ton of different types. Um, they're probably rated for more, but they came off of a 69 kV line. Um, See, so yeah, I got a few different variations. And then these, they're probably rated for 69 kV, but they came off of a 46 kV line. I got a ton of these a long time ago. They come in this color, and they also come in kind of a wider color. They're made by NGK also. Um, then I have these made by McLean Power Systems. They came off, I think you saw, y'all saw these before. They came off of another 230 kV structure. I like these because they have, you got a shed and it's like really long until you have another shed. So I don't know, they're just different. I had seen them up on the pole before they took it down. I don't, they had always kind of caught my eye, so I'm really happy to finally have those in my collection. Um, then I have more polys here. I got an it, more NGK ones. They're almost just like the other ones I've shown you, except they're, uh, they have the ball on the end. Um, but as you can see, I got a ton of those. Um... Then, here, let me walk around a little bit so you can see them better. Then, I have these made by McLean Power Systems. I like, I always like <coughs> McLean Power System sheds. They're just a bit different. But one thing I'm going to put out there... I do not have a lap 230 kV poly. Um, I love their shed designs. They're really cool. But that's one thing I do not have and I really like to get. Um, so these are probably my favorite 230 kV polys because they resemble the laps almost. Then I have a 230 kV post, a line post. What I thought was cool about this, it's got a corona ring on the end. It's really different, but it looked a lot smaller until I stood it up. I gotta say that. This is a really cool insert made by NGK. Um, then we got some little poly posts down here. I figured I'd show y'all some different types, different styles. Then I got a ton of little polys. There's all different ones. These are kind of cool. 
Got that one off eBay a long time ago. It's really old too. Got these Illumiform ones. These old ones, I got a lot of those. Um, then I also got this one. It's made by K-Line Insulars. I actually got it from a guy from Canada. It's really cool. But uh, I think it might be 69 kV or 46. I don't know exactly, but it's either one of those. But uh, then the last, well, one of the last ones I'm going to show you is this one. It's a McLean Power Systems, almost like the other ones I showed you except it's almost brand new. They used it as a temporary insulator. The rod's a bit bigger, so I think it has more tensile strength. And, uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. The sheds are a bit bigger around too. It's probably my second or third favorite poly I got. Uh, here's a closer look at one of those NGK ones hard to show you these full frame because they're so big each of them they're about eight feet probably then I got some more little ones over there and last but not least we got these guys these are really old uh it's not much well not really that many of them left a lot of them have failed and the poly gets old and rotten and nasty but uh Anyways, um, I'd like to thank Variac Maniac for suggesting this video. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy it. Uh, as I said earlier, some insulator collectors are going to hate this video. You know, a lot of people don't like the polys, but like I said before, I care about all insulators, you know. They're all cool. But, uh, anyways... If there's anything you'd like to see more of, uh, shoot me a comment. Uh, if you're new, like and subscribe, please. And I'll catch you on the next one.